Hello and welcome. Please pause this video and try it on your own. Give it a shot and see what you can do. Okay, let's read this problem together. It says, which equation has the same solutions as 2x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0? They're asking you to factor this, really. right? They're saying, if we factor uh, this trinomial right, into two binomials, which one of these would give the correct result? So here, when we factor, right, we have 2x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0. So if we look at our, our binomials, let's just think about this for a second. We know when we multiply the binomials, think about the way if you use FOIL or any form of the distributive property, the numbers that go here and here will have to be multiplied um, and they will lead to this term, the C term of the trinomial, it's called the C term, right? And here C equals negative 3. So in other words, these two numbers have to multiply to a negative product. And the only way for that to happen is if one of them is positive and one of them is negative. Because a negative times a positive is a negative number. Out of all the choices they give us, right, you notice they all are negative and positive, right? And so here, I, even though it doesn't help us eliminate any choices, it gives us a sense of the problem. Um, next, we know that we're going to need to have um, some combination of 2x and x. So we'll put x here, let's say, and 2x there. And all of these have that as well. And then what you think, then what you might notice is that the only difference between all of these is the location of the threes and the ones as they correspond um, to the positive and negative values and their location about whether or not they're going to be multiplied by 2x. So for example, in this one, you're going to multiply 2x by 1 when you distribute, but here you're going to multiply 2x by 3, which creates an entirely different problem. So what you can factor this out. I suggest actually trying one of these examples to see what happens so you can start to play with it. Let's try this one. Let's put the 3 with the 2x and this binomial and the positive sign and the 1 with the x and the negative sign. If you multiply these out, 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 1 is minus 2x. 3 times x is plus 3x, right? And 3 times 1 is negative 3. So in that first shot, I think we got it, right? It's 2x squared plus x minus 3, and that's exactly what we need. So let's look for this one. It's 2x plus 3, 2x plus 1, uh, plus 3, excuse me, uh, times x minus 1, this one right here. 